Hey guys, welcome to the video. So today I wanna to be talking about the differences between exercising and training, talk about the differences, talk about which one is gonna to apply to you, talk about how you can actually apply different principles to help you guys reach your goals. So let's jump straight into the video. So for some of you, you may be a bit confused or see like, okay, what is the point of difference between exercise and training? Does it really matter? Well, in a way, how we talk and how we actually act is gonna have different results. And obviously if we're thinking about exercising and training as a whole, they are actually different principles when it comes to fitness. And depending on where you fall within this spectrum, it's perfectly fine if you're someone that just exercises or if you're someone who is training. I'm gonna go through some of the differences now so you can then identify which one actually aligns with what you're trying to do because then it's gonna allow you to actually then pick the right exercises or the right rep scheme or actually apply different things into what you're doing to make sure that you hit your results because it's very, very easy to pick certain exercises or certain programs thinking it's gonna give you the result where actually it's not gonna be working towards where you need to go. So this is the point of the video. So hopefully this will help you guys to decide. So some of the differences between exercises exercising and training. For instance, non-focused goals versus focused goals. So for instance, if you are training, you are specifically training towards a specific goal. If you're someone that's trying to improve your deadlift, let's say you are a powerlifter, you're trying to increase your free lifts. Maybe you're someone who is into calisthenics and you are training because you are after to learn the pull-up, the push-up, certain exercises. Maybe you're someone who is training to run a faster 5K or you're learning to do a 5K. You are training for a focused goal. You have a specific specific goal than what you're going for. For a lot of people when they are just exercising in general, they're normally non-focused goals like, okay, I want to lose a little bit of weight or I want to maybe, as a lot of people will say, I want to tone up or I want to just be a little healthier. How you exercise or train, a lot of those things like getting healthy or losing weight can be a byproduct where if you have an actual focused goal of a specific thing that you're after, you want to be focusing on what you're doing and your training has to be focused towards those goals. You can't go, I want to learn how to do the pull-up or run a, a faster 5k and you just do a sort of a generic workout program or just doing random workouts that are just exercising in general. The key focus is you're focusing on a specific goal and you're training specifically for it. Where exercising is very, very generic. It's just, you're just focusing on just moving your body. So there's a difference there. We move on down to, we have a more of a flexible idea of exercise where our training tends to be more rigid. So if you're just focusing on, again, just wanting to move more, I want to be a bit healthier, I want to lose weight. I just want to be more active. How you apply that or allow that to happen is very, very flexible in nature. It can be something as simple as you just want to move more. You want to aim for five, 10,000 steps a day. You want to start maybe adding in some full body workouts a couple times a week. You don't care what's in those workouts, but you'll do it. It might be a home workout DVD. It might be you're going to get a dog and start running with a dog, playing football, doing five aside, doing getting into sport. It doesn't really matter what you're doing. Your overall goal is just moving more and exercising. So the the flexibility of how you achieve that is very easier to do. Where if you're training, your idea of how you're gonna to get towards those goals is a lot more rigid. If you're training to learn towards doing the pull-up, you need to focus on doing pull-ups or progressing up to the pull-up you're gonna do it. If you wanna to get to a 5K or a 10K, whatever your goal is, you need to start adding in running. If you're someone that doesn't do any movement, you might have done that workout app or whatever it's called where it's couched to 5K and you're building it up so you're able to do a 5K. And then you might start increasing how long you can run, the distances and then the time. So if you're actually training is a lot more rigid because you have a, a proper goal that needs directed training or programming towards that. So in nature, they are a lot more flexible and rigid and opposing different things. So depending on what you are after, you might find that you need to have more of a focused, more of a rigid training philosophy as opposed to, I don't mind what I'm doing. As long as I'm doing something, it counts. The next thing is when it comes to exercising, programming is, is less important. Where if you're training, programming is more important. If you're training towards, say, a 5K, you have training programs designed for six, eight, 10 weeks where you're progressively increasing the distance, you're progressively doing different things like fart leg training, maybe distance runs, tempo runs, interval runs, distance runs. You have those things that are programmed, you know what you're doing when you're doing it and it's building up towards something. If you're learning to do the pull-up, you might be saying, I wanna do a couple sessions a week where I'm working on inverted rows or maybe you're doing some negative pull-ups. There's training that is gonna be building up you towards your focus goal that's rigid, that is allowing you to train a specific goal. You are training, so programming is very important. If you want to get 
bigger and stronger and you're, you're taking it seriously. A lot of people go to the gym and they just do a body part split and they'll just randomly go in and a lot of them will come in and they'll lift the same weights, will do the same exercises and they repeat the same thing over and over again. That isn't training, it's just exercising. You're just doing something for the sake of it. There isn't a clear programming, there isn't a clear rigid goal. It's, I just wanna put on size, I wanna put on muscle. Where if you're after that goal, you can't just go into the gym and just exercise and just think just doing a few push-ups or doing the same program over and over again is going to get you that result it won't you need to start training as opposed to exercising so programming is more important because it's building you up there's an actual process to what you're doing to getting stronger to progressively lifting more weight or progressively doing more volume or progressively running further all of them is allowed to happen because you have programming in place and that's what makes it important so the idea of what we're going into with the program is exercises if you are training for running you're going to be doing a lot of running and you need to focus on doing a lot of running you might do supplementary exercises but your goal is destined around running if you're thinking about doing your pull-ups there's going to be doing a lot of pull-ups it's going to be inverted rows maybe some other maybe complementary other rowing exercises to build up the strength if you're doing strength training in general and you just want to get big and strong as you possibly can you're going to be focusing on compound exercises exercises that give you the most bang for your butt the ones that are going to be stimulate the most muscles the ones that are going to allow you to lift as much weight as you possibly can there's a real focus on what exercises you're going to be doing you're not just going to be picking any exercise that will do where if you're just exercising in general because you want to lose a little bit of weight or get a little bit fitter you can literally pick any exercise you can do some exercise that i've seen where people are just doing jumping jacks and you know they're doing push-ups and rows and they're combining exercises together which in and of itself if you're trying to build muscle doing a push-up on dumbbells and then trying to row it up in between may be okay if you're just trying to exercise and you're just trying to hit the muscle and to burn calories but if you're really trying to hit your chest or really trying to hit your back doing push-up and then rowing the dumbbell up isn't a very efficient way to build muscle in either your chest or in your back it's kind of like you're just trying to combine things to make them more efficient that sort of training and again the purpose of this video is to help you determine which exercises and programs are right for you is great for exercising because you're just moving your body and you're using muscles and trying to burn more calories but from a training purpose it's crap if you're trying to train you're trying to build your back and trying to build your muscle combining a push-up in a row isn't a very efficient way to train sets and reps you might just find with exercising it's just about that feeling of exhaustion or just that idea of you're just trying to work up a sweat you're just trying to do a certain amount of reps just so you've done a certain amount of work just so you've hit a certain goal for you mentally or physically it's just about moving your body working out for half an hour 40 minutes it doesn't matter what's in that time frame or how what how those calories are burnt those are your targets you don't care we're here it's strength training it's going to be one to five reps okay it could be three to five sets of volume if it's like you're trying on uh, psychoplasma hypertrophy or just the idea of just getting big you might be more focused on doing more volume if you're trying to get really really good at an exercise and you're trying to increase your your muscular endurance you might be doing more reps to try and build that up there's a focus between what you're doing with sets and reps where this it doesn't really matter as long as you work up a sweat you feel like you've done a workout that's exercising this is training again and obviously it comes into cycles where if you're doing some stuff like strength training every now and again adding in time that you can allow your body to recover or having set programs where you can actually rest to recuperate to then come back more that's going to be needed in this sort of program where this you might just go i'm going to go every day and go for a walk or go for a light run or whatever or just be active and take a day off when i'm busy or whatever it's a lot more i guess more casual where this is a little bit more structured there's a bit more rigidity to it there's an actual purpose to your training so the question is which are you and why does this matter because it matters on what you're going for so for instance if you are someone who is just after wanting to be a little bit healthier someone that just wants to move more someone that just wants to feel a little bit better have a little bit more energy you don't really need to be worrying about what's the best rep range for putting on strength what sort of training i should do what's the best program full body upper body lower all of these different things don't really matter that much as long as you are being more active and you're moving and it doesn't matter if the squat is the best leg exercise because you're not after the biggest legs you're not after how big your your squat is it doesn't matter to you you just want to be healthier and be fitter you could just do step ups you could do lunges you could just go for a run it doesn't really matter so the great thing about if you're just taking on that sort of approach is everything's a lot more flexible everything is more again you don't have to worry about doing the same program how frequently you do it or how you program it your object of the, of the day is i'm doing my workout and i'm just going to work up a sweat i'm going to burn a certain amount of calories i'm going to hit a certain amount of reps and then go it doesn't matter if the next workout you come in and you do the same workout again or whether you progress from last time because it's all about even maintaining the, a certain size or shape or just being fit and active that is really really good for a lot of you because it's just like great i can just come in and just do a load of pull-ups, a load of push-ups, a load of sit-ups, a load of squats and go for a run and I'm done for the day. I've done a workout, 
I've been active, I've worked my muscles, I've got my cardiovascular done, maybe done a little bit of mobility or flexibility after it and I'm done. You don't need to worry about, in a way, progressive overload or any of that other stuff because it's just about moving and being active and being healthy. And that's quite freeing for a lot of you to have. You don't need to worry about all of this other stuff. But if you're someone who is really dedicated and wanting to get strong, someone who's dedicated on wanting to build as much muscle as they possibly can, someone who's really trying to get into running a faster 5K or getting really fit, maybe you're into CrossFit, maybe you're into powerlifting, you've got this competitive side and you really want to push it and do as best as you possibly can and being healthy is great, but you want to be strong, you want to be fit, you want to test yourself, you want to be the best that you possibly can. You need to start taking more of a focused response and actually start getting into training and dedicating your time and your energy into being fixated in a program, following it and sticking to it to T and having some form of progressive overload and things like that in your training because if you go into the gym and you're just exercising and going in and just doing your typical body part split or even a full body and you're going in doing the same thing over and over again, you're not being progressive in your training, you're not incorporating say rest days when you need it, you're not pushing yourself, you're not working within the right rep range, the right intensity, you're not doing enough volume, all of these different things that come into it, you're never going to reach your goal and you're forever going to be going to the gym and like many of those people you see that go to the gym even after years, two, uh, two years, three years, five years, ten years, they look the same and the reason being is they've been going to the gym and they've just been exercising, they haven't actually been training specifically for that goal but what it was, it was just, just trying to get you guys the idea of changing your mindset and understanding there is a difference between it, whether you think it's nuanced or not, there is a difference between exercising and training and if you're really focused in your goal, you need to start taking more of this approach and actually start taking your training a little bit more seriously and focus on training to just going to the gym and just working up a sweat or just moving your muscles. If you're just after just general fitness and you just want to be fitter and healthier, maybe you're someone in their 30s and 40s or 50s and you've kind of lost a little bit of fitness and you just want to try and get that back, different reps and sets and best exercises, doesn't really matter. Just be more active, just walk more, be more active, add in days where you can actually test and work your muscles, work up a sweat, hit a certain rep count, doesn't really matter. You have the flexibility to do whatever you want because your goals or what you're after is a lot more easier to obtain and to achieve and you don't need the flexibility and the structure that if you're training for a specific goal, you need to be able to get there. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you want more content like this. Comment down below if you have any questions or you have an opinion on this yourself, whether you're someone that does exercise and whether you've got training. And again, guys, with this, there is no right or wrong. I'm not against anyone who just exercises or anyone that just, just trains. Find whatever you, you're after and go for it. It doesn't matter which one that is. So guys, so I'll see you guys in the next video.